You have a gnome in your home. That makes you a gnome keeper. Gnome keeping is the practice of arranging your home to harmonize with the world of gnome. When you gnome your home, you're working with the Earth's energies. You can then use these Earth energies to activate all areas of your life. To do this, first, know your gnome. Your gnome lives under your house in cozy dens that are very similar to the rooms in your home. As you invite your gnome into your home, your gnome will begin to bring up earth energy into the rooms of your house. But you must remember to invite your gnome to do so. One of the easiest ways to do this is to leave tiny presents for your gnome in each room you wish to activate with gnome magic. To activate the welcome door den, place a tiny gnome door by your door. To activate the learning powers of the book den, place a gnome book for your gnome by your books. You can make your book with the tiniest scraps of paper. To activate the helpful portrait power of gnome, place a tiny picture frame next to your family portraits. Some gnomes call this helpful portrait den your ancestor den. You can make your picture frame out of twigs. To activate the love and sweet dreams of the sleeping den, place a tiny teacup next to your bedside table. The tiny teacup can be made from an acorn cup. To activate the yummy health powers of the cookery den, place a tiny cauldron in a place of honor in your kitchen. Gnomes can use a walnut shell for a cauldron. To activate craft gnomanship in the workshop den, place a tiny potion of wishing dust in a special place in your workspace. Dust from Goblin Gold, aka Pyrite, makes great wishing dust. To activate the money magic of the treasure den, place a tiny crown near your piggy bank or other money containers. Tiny crowns can be made from pipe cleaners. To activate the fun of the gathering den, aka gamery den, place a tiny trophy in a place of honor in your family room. Tiny jars can be turned into trophies. To activate the cleanup power of the cleanup den, place a tiny broom in your bathroom. Use a twig and some of the bristles from your own broom to make a gnome-sized broom. And that is a good start for becoming a gnome keeper.